I am thoroughly blown away by each and every one of you. I've had the opportunity to meet a number of students at CCD um, and getting to talk to some of your classes, but today hearing your stories and seeing the tremendous accomplishments that have been brought forth, I mean, have literally brought me to tears. And I, um, as a first generation student, I could not be more proud. So anyway, I do have remorse. <laughs> it is an honor to stand before you today as we celebrate the incredible achievements of the graduating class of 2023 of Community College of Denver. <laughs> Absolutely. My name is Wanda James, and I am a first-generation graduate, a formal naval officer, the CEO of America's first Black-owned dispensary, and as of November of last year, a duly elected CU regent. Thank you. It is my pleasure to congratulate each and every one of you on this momentous, momentous occasion. Today marks the accumulation of years and years of hard work and sacrifice, dedication and perseverance. As you look back on your time here at CCD, I hope that you all feel the same amount of pride that I felt standing in your shoes a short 37 years ago. Today is something that I hope that none of you will ever forget. And I hope it's this tremendous feeling of accomplishment follows you throughout your entire lives. As you graduate, you stand on the threshold of a new chapter. A world that is changing rapidly. We have come through a pandemic. We have dealt with racial inequalities. And there are more changes that will be coming and more challenges that will be coming ahead of you. And those challenges will be great but so will the opportunities. You all have the opportunity to do so many things that generations before you have never dreamt of. You have been given the opportunity to make a difference in this world. And I would like to challenge all of you to continue to make a difference. As you move forward into this next phase, I want to leave you with three pieces of advice that have followed me throughout my career and throughout my life. What success means, the power of leadership, and the importance of community. Each of these independently will be extremely important to you. However, together they will build a life that you can be proud of and that your family will be proud of. First, let's talk about success. That's why we're all here. Success is not about money or prestige or power. Success is about finding your passion it is about pursuing it relentlessly and making a positive impact on the world around you. It's about setting your goals. It's about working hard. And it is about never, ever, 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 ever giving up. More importantly, it's about taking risk, learning from your failures and trying again and again and again. Always be true to yourself in a world that will tell you not to be. It can be difficult to follow your own values as you move through this world, but don't be afraid to do so. Stand up for what you believe in and move your little corner of the world. When I think about back on my life and the opportunities that I've had, if you can imagine the shock of everybody around me when I declared at the ripe old age of 40, Five, that I was going to open up a dispensary, sell a federally illegal plant, and challenge and fight the racist, racist drug war. You can imagine the shock that I put on everybody in Denver in the political world because I had just come off of working on Barack Obama, President Barack Obama's National Finance Committee. I had just finished being the campaign manager for then Congressman and now Governor Jared Polis. <laughs> and then I decided to tell the world that we were going to sell cannabis. In 2009, cannabis was not something that everybody walked along joyously talking about. It was something that people didn't do or didn't talk about, and only criminals had an inside track on. The disparaging comments from well-meaning and powerful people said things to me like, I've just destroyed my professional career. 
I've just destroyed my life. That people wouldn't speak to me again and that nobody wanted to be around me. Well, 14 years later, none of that was true. However, it took a whole lot to be able to do that because it's hard when the people that you admire and that you look up to tell you what you're doing is wrong, even though you have a strong belief in your heart and in your soul that what you're doing is right. Follow your soul, always, 100% of the time. My career and my life took off in many different ways after coming out and telling the world that we were going to sell cannabis. And it took off in ways that I would never have imagined, like standing here in front of you today and talking to you about your success. And it was all because I passionately believed in what we were doing was just and right. You have already achieved a great deal of success by the fact that you are here today. You have proven to yourself and to the world that you are capable of hard work and dedication. But this is just your beginning, your very beginning. As you move forward to the next chapters of your life, remember that success is a journey and not a destination. Your entire life is a journey and not a destination. And that is something that you must never forget. It is also something that you must work at every day. The one thing that we learned as young naval officers, one of the first things that we had to do was we had to circumvent the globe using paper and a cyst that the old sailors used by navigating by, um, by stars and the moon. The lesson for that for us back then, even though we could have done it all with machines and computers, was that we learned that 99.9% .9 of the time, every naval ship, every naval ship is off course, which must means which means that you must course correct. You're traveling down somewhere, you know you're heading to that part, to that path, <laughs> wherever that may be, and there will be things that guide you off of that path. It will be things that you can't control. It will be things like the wind, the waves, the moon, high tide, low tide, all the different things that affect a Navy ship. But every time that you take a look at where you are and you're off by a couple of degrees, it's important that you look towards your North Star, look in your soul, and you course correct. That will happen to you again and again and again. Continue to course correct. Let's talk about leadership. Leadership is not just something to have a title or a title of authority. It's about inspiring others. It's about setting an example and it's about empowering the people around you. It is about being your best self. It is about listening more than you speak. We have two ears, one mouth. There's a reason for that. And it is about being kind and compassionate, and most importantly, honorable. I'm reminded of another quote. I go back to my Navy life a lot because it was a part, a big part of, of who I became and my training. But one of the quotes that I will never forget as a young Naval midshipman that was taught to us was, honor is like an island, rugged without a beach. And once you've left it, you can never return. Once you've left it, you can never return. I say that twice because never trade your honor for money or for power. Honor in itself is the basis of who you are and who you will become. As graduates, you have the potential to be leaders in your own right. You have been equipped with knowledge and skills and confidence to make a difference in the world whether you lead in your profession, your community, or in your personal life. Remember that leadership is not just what you accomplish, but it's how you make people feel. Finally, the most important thing to all of you and to all of us is community. And community isn't about just where you come from or where you live. It's about the people that you surround yourself with. It's about working on the causes that you care about. It's about the impact that you will have on others. It's about giving back. It's about lifting up. 
It's about creating a world that is more equitable for everyone involved. I found my personal success, my personal success grew tremendously from the people that we continue to help. Yes, of course, we helped people fighting cannabis and children with epilepsy. However, we also reached to the people who were incarcerated for the racist drug wars and the racist drug laws. And then there were young people who came to us that saw a new career and a new life in this industry that had yet to be created. The lesson was clear to me, never stop creating your community. As you leave college and you go out into the world, remember that you are a part of the fabric of this universe. Your actions and contributions will continue to change the society both locally and globally. You will touch people that you never knew that you could touch. With today's internet, with IG and all the new things that you will create as you go out, you will never know what your words and your actions and how they move a single person on the other side of the world or the other side of a parking lot or the other side of your apartment complex. Be selected on who you take your guidance and your counsel from. None of us can change things alone, which is why we're all here, because together we create community, we create fabric, we create our lives. Stay connected to the people who have empowered you and have supported you throughout your life and seek out the new kindred spirits that will help you achieve your new goals along the way. Remember that your success and your leadership can only be meaningful if they are rooted into a deep sense of purpose and a deep sense of commitment to something greater than yourself. Let me say that one more time. Your success must be rooted in a sense of purpose and a commitment to something greater than yourself. So the new graduates of the Community College of Denver, as you move forward and as you move forward into this next chapter into your life, I challenge you to embrace success. I challenge you to embody leadership. I challenge you to build your community and to challenge all that you do with honor. As you embark on this new journey, I have absolutely no doubt that you will face many obstacles along the way. But I absolutely have no doubt that you will meet them all in the glorious fashion that you are all coming today to this award ceremony and all of your amazing lives. So go forth from here today with confidence and new hope and new desire, your dreams and your energy. Give the world your creativity because it will demand it. Give the world your passion because it will want it. Now, honestly, more than ever before. And I know that you will make every one of us proud. I know that you will make your family proud. I know that you will live up to the challenges that are coming your way and the opportunities that lie ahead. Be bold, be courageous, be in charge, be honorable, and be the change that you want to see in the world. I offer you all of my congratulations Congratulations, and my heartfelt, heartfelt, heartfelt appreciation for the fabric that I see in this room and the changes that all of you are going to make as you go out into the world. Thank you for allowing me to be here today with each and every one of you. Thank you for allowing me to share this time with you. And honestly, I could not be more proud or more moved than to each and every one of you that I see sitting here tonight. And thank you all very much.